Okay, so this is a standard Jules Reef circuit with your LED, transistor, resistor, battery, and toroid. And I found something kind of interesting, and um, I want to just go ahead and show everybody that uh, you know this is exactly what it looks like. Hook up the toroid and we have a nice bright LED okay now while I was trying to duplicate one of uh, lid motors experiments using a Radio Shack choke and I wound up uh, if you can't really see it but there's two different colors of magnet wire in there to uh, make an adjustable an adjustable coil which is what he had done on one of his uh, videos I have a couple of these little chokes and what I did was, you know, they're, they're typically wound just with a single wire. So I wrapped another one on and, uh, you know, hooked it up the same way, just like you would do with anything else, just to see if it would work, even though it's not uh, a toroid as far as it being a donut, but it is a ferrite. And as you can see, that's exactly what we get is a nice little Jewel Thief circuit. However, I got an idea and I, I tried something and I got a, a weird result. So I had some of these little coils, uh, these inductors that uh, I pulled off of a circuit board because I like to recycle. But it's only one set of wires, uh, it's one set of magnet wire, and I thought, well, maybe if I could um, wrap another set around, then I could take a little inductor or, or a little little choke, a miniature uh, ferrite choke like this, and make it into an adjustable, a mini adjustable. Um, but what ended up happening is um, I wrapped everything around, and if you could see, there's a there's nothing in there. It's just two pieces of magnet wire uh, that are wrapped around with uh, they're connected at one part and the other two are loose. So here's what happened. So that is two pieces of wire wrapped around with no ferrite core acting as a jewel thief. Um, it's not as bright as if you're using a toroid, but that's it. There's, there's nothing else there. And that thing is running. So... Um, I don't know if maybe it has something to do with the fact that there is, uh, you know, iron in the magnet wire, being that you know it's a, it's a ferrite substitute, uh, you know, without having an actual core, and the breakdown still occurs with the uh, the magnetic field. But um, I'm interested to hear what anybody has to say about it. Thanks for watching.